So YouTube have brought out a new app for iOS, so for the iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad and also for the Android as well. And they all work in the same sort of way, but I'm just going to show it to you quickly here on the iPhone and then quickly on the Android and iPad as well. So the thing that they've actually introduced, I'm here in the uh, app at the moment, is if I want to play something, so I'm just going to choose that one there. So this is going to start playing in a moment. But what you can now do is actually start watching this, say, for example, and that's just coming up to speed here, and browse for something else. So what you do is just drag that down here. That's still playing there. And if I had the audio up, you'd be able to hear that as well. And then I can easily browse for something else. So I could actually go up to the top here, look for what to watch. I could search for something such as jargon free help. Okay, so there we go. Do a search. And when these come up, I could choose one of these and it would start playing and I could do exactly the same thing and minimize it. Okay, so let's say I want to go back to this one here. I can actually just drag it back up. You can drag it down. You can drag it up in the top left hand corner. You'll see a little arrow. You can tap on that. And if you want to get rid of it, you just slide it across like that and it's gone. And then you can start playing the next one. So here we go. This one's going to come up now. I can actually drag it down right now. If I wanted to get rid of it straight away, I could just slide it across. So that's what it looks like on the iPhone. And here it is on the Android. So it looks exactly the same as it does on the iPhone. You just tap to play it. And once again, I can just drag it down so that it appears in the bottom corner and I could go browsing. And once again, I can just tap it or drag it up tap on the arrow to bring it down and swipe to the left to get rid of it. So one thing I didn't show you was actually doing the browsing, same as the iPhone, drag it down and then I could search or tap or look around for anything here. So that is what it looks like on the Android. Again, I've just swiped to the left to get rid of that one there. And here it is on the iPad. So if I go to play this same one here, you'll just see that it's really bigger and I can just drag that across to here and again browse. I could go to my jargon free list here. I can look at my uploads and choose something from here. Again, tap on it to bring it back. There's the minimize in that top corner there. And once again, I can just slide it across like that to make it disappear. So that is the new YouTube app. And as you can see, it's quite easy now to browse and look at a video at the same time.